Good, uh, good evening, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? Very good evening. Uh, how are you? I'm good, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm again with some more questions, ma'am. After a long time, we are making video on endometriosis. So, I want to put a short video, ma'am. Only basic five questions I want to ask you. Should I start, ma'am? Please start. Okay, ma'am. What is endometriosis, ma'am? Endometriosis is a pathology in women which is characterized by implantation of the inner lining of the uterus, which is endometrium, outside the uterine cavity. Either it get implanted in the pelvic tissue, in the you know pelvic peritoneum, in the ovaries, will become a chocolate cyst, or it will penetrate inside the myometrium. It will become an adenomyosis. This is endometriosis. Okay, what is the main cause of this endometriosis, ma'am? Main cause of the endometriosis is genetic. It's a genetic predisposition, but actually speaking, all patients they should know is a multifactorial. Multifactorial, it is the story start either intrauterine when the fetus is inside the maternal womb and the maternal uterus. If her mother has been exposed to a lot of hormone or a lot of pesticide, then it will predispose the baby to this type of a problem in the childhood. Or if they are using a lot of seafood, fish, fish, there is also possibilities there that maybe they are the one responsible for this. Is this common thing, ma'am, endometriosis? In yes, it is indeed common. 10 to 15 percent of the, our infertile patients, they suffer from endometriosis, especially becoming increasingly common is because of the pollution, the pesticide contaminated water, the groundwater, the food, the air. So pollution is coming everywhere to us. So endometriosis is also increasing. How is di diagnosed, ma'am? It's diagnosed purely by the laparoscopy. is a gold standard way of diagnosing endometriosis and chocolate cysts by uh, laparoscopy. But uh, sometimes chocolate cyst, if she complain of severe pain, abdomen, dysmenorrhea, dyspareunia, then it, can, it will be diagnosed by the ultrasound imaging and uh, also MRI. Uh, these are the way of diagnosing endometriosis. What are the treatments, ma'am? Uh, treatment in a young girl, if uh, the chocolate cyst is very painful if very large, more than 5 to 6 centimeters. So it is basically to do laparoscopy. Repeated laparoscopy is not indicated, but at least de roofing and excision of the cyst is indicated. And uh, there are various medical therapy because most of the medical therapy are the contraceptive promoting molecules. Like it is uh, not permitting the patient to get pregnant. Uh, so uh, there are different stages of endometriosis, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4, where severe endometriosis, where they are uh, resistant to all kinds of the therapy, and then IVF is the only way of getting success in their case. Okay, ma'am, uh, success stories of MHRT, ma'am. We know thousands of stories, but one you can tell, yeah, share with us. We had recently a patient where she had uh, eight times IVF in uh, Mumbai. And then she came and she got a success. Mashallah. Yes, and we had now a case which is now 150 kg. Everybody oh. refused their market obese patient. And uh, we have done, she's a PCO patient, polycystic ovary, and we got success. She, we had a case of a stage four endometriosis where she was a repeated failure of IVF from United Kingdom oh. and London Hospital. Uh, and then she came here and we had the IVF and she got success. We, had, we have many success in endometriosis. Yeah, everything is possible in endometriosis. endometriosis we are number one in the world. Mashallah, yes yeah, We are doing a very pioneering research work on endometriosis. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was a beautiful section with you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.